Good evening, I'm Jennifer Sheehan. Thanks for choosing WENY News at 530. Imagine being able to market, develop, and sell your own business idea all within just a few years. And better yet, imagine being able to get the help and support to do so right here in the Southern Tier. At least that's what the area's newest business incubator is trying to do. WY Samantha Potter. Materials used to make meth were found along Ladderbrook Road in Horseheads this afternoon. The state police CERT team was called to clean up the meth lab dump site on Ladderbrook Road near Burns Road. They found several one pots, gas generators, and other materials on the side of the road next to the creek. The Shimon County Sheriff's Office is handling the investigation. Now we will keep you posted and updated as we learn more. And the Tompkins County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help. They are looking for a man who was repeatedly caught on camera entering the Newfield School. The man in the photo you see here entered the school on two separate occasions after business hours during the month of June. Now, if you have any information or can identify this man, please contact the Tompkins County Sheriff's Office immediately. And Corning Incorporated is expanding its business, buying pharmaceutical glass giant Gresmer for nearly $220 million. Gresmer is hoping the sale will streamline its tubing glass business. In addition, Corning and Gresmer will set up a joint venture of pharmaceutical glass packing innovations. Corning will hold a 75% stake in that venture and eventually will take over the glass tubing plants in Vineland, New Jersey and Pisa, Italy by the end of the year. And the Binghamton City Council is considering a resolution to support a potential casino in this city. The Press and Sun Bulletin reports Mayor Richard David requested a special council meeting to vote on that resolution. This after an unnamed bidding group and indicated it was prepared to move forward with a casino proposal. Applications for a Southern Tier Casino license are due July 6. Now, Tiago Downs owner Jeff Garral is currently the only person who has publicly announced interest in seeking the remaining license for a casino in upstate New York. 151 holes. That is the amount of holes Bob Decker and Jeff Dill completed at the last year's the first tee of Corning's Glenn Schneider Memorial Golf Marathon. The event helps raise money for the kids in the community to learn more about golf. WNY's Logan Wilson is live at Corning Country Club for this event. Logan, give us an update on where the golfers are in the marathon. Exciting. Thanks so much, Logan. The trolley into Twain country kicks off tomorrow for the summer season. Elmira is rich in history and the trolley is one way to discover its many stories. Trolley riders are greeted by the trolley master who takes them on a trip.